Watching Out and About on TSPN TV, my name is Monique Grazade. We have Tommy Fox on camera, and we're in downtown Sutter Creek. We're going to the Wine Fest today, so we're going to go inside, say hello, see what's going on, and then we'll taste some wine, so stay with us. I'm here with Tara Forget from Amador Arts. Tara, tell me what you're doing here today. Hi, Monique. This is our Wine Fest, which is our biggest benefit of the year. So Amador Arts is the County Arts Council, and we do art in the schools programs. We do community events like the TGIF summer concerts. We are a small nonprofit, and this big event helps us raise about 30% of our annual operating budget. And this is one of my very favorite events in downtown Sutter Creek. I love the chili cook-off. I love all the Christmas stuff. But the Wine Fest, to me, is just such a neat thing because the weather's still warm. People are out and about during the day. It gets kind of dark. And it's a fun thing to do and to kind of educate people about what Amateur Arts is doing for the community. It is a fun event. This is our 18th year. Oh my goodness, 18th, wow. 18 years, and it's really become a staple of Sutter Creek. All the shops love it, the wineries love coming out to pour in the shops, and it's really unique that we get wine tasting in all of these great little shops on Main Street in Sutter Creek. And I agree, and it's so easy. All you have to do is come here to the auditorium, you pick up your glass and your bracelet, and away you go into the shops, and the shopkeepers are there with a little bit of food, great wineries, you know, serving wine to taste and I mean how much more fun could it be and then we have all of these amazing raffle items it looks like Christmas in here I've just never seen so many items here you must have done really well it is it's a great party in here and this is a big part of wine fest is you go out you do the tasting in the shops and there's 20 locations out there but then at the end of the evening you come back here there's more wine tasting we have some additional wineries we also do dessert tasting we have four restaurants doing desserts this evening. And then, of course, the huge auction. All these items that you're seeing were donated by local businesses, local wineries, or just people who want to support Amador Arts. And we have some really unique items in the auction this year. We also have some art classes and premiere experiences, which really is a unique thing to Amador Arts. We have some of the artists who teach classes for us offering to do private classes as an auction item. So oh, you very can generous. make a bid and then win yourself an art class for 10 of your friends and you can throw a party at your house and have an artist come and teach an art class right there. So that's a very yeah, That's really thing. neat. I want to highlight a few of the other um, major donations. Yes, so we also have a guitar, a baby Taylor guitar which would be an incredible Christmas present. Yes, it, it would. Is a small guitar, so it would be great for a child or grandchild. That's a really unique item. And then we also have some sports memorabilia this year. We had donations from the 49ers, the Kings, and the Giants. Oh my goodness, that's fabulous. And of course, a big part of our Winefest auction is the art. We have 50 pieces of art by local artists, originals, which includes jewelry, ceramics, gourds, paintings, and photographs. So that, that's a really important part of the auction as well. Yeah, wonderful. I also noticed there are a couple of trips this year too, is that right? There are stays. So we have supporters of Amador Arts who own condos and timeshares, and they generously donate those to the auction. So the Bierces donated two nights in their Lake Tahoe condo and Wayne Garibaldi at American River Bank donated his Tahoe and Aptos, which is beachfront property. It's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. Well, everybody is supportive and very generous, as we can see just by the turnout and by the amazing auction items that you have here. We're gonna go out and do a little tasting and talk to the people on the street. I just wanna say thank you, Tara. It's good to see you again. Thanks for being here at Wine Fest. We appreciate the support. My pleasure. Have a Have good night. Fun. Hi, Courtney. I'm Monique with TSPN TV. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Volcano. Oh, close by. It's a local. Yes. I noticed you look lovely. I love, you know, the, how your hair is done and the beautiful scarf. And, and I thought you're kind of like a unique, artsy, modern kind of gal. I wanted to Thanks. talk with you. Did you just arrive? Yes, I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how many times have you been to the uh, Wine Fest? This is actually my first time, so my oh, husband and I won tickets. Oh, so. You're kidding, how'd you yeah. win them? Um, actually, through the union. They, oh, really? they were off Yeah, they were offering the tickets, and I signed up for them, and I won them. Oh, well, congratulations. Yes, Feeling lucky tonight, then. I am. <laughs> Good. Well, enjoy the night. Thanks for talking with yes. me. Thank you. Okay, what are your names? Fran. Mark. Carlene. And you are from? Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. 
Sutter Creek. Okay. Merced. Oh, fabulous. We're, we're sisters and brothers. Yes. Oh, yes. that's so nice. Look at you guys. Well, you're um, obviously prepared to have some fun. We have yeah. our tasting plates, which you brought from home. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. The creek cupboard. Oh, I love that store. <laughs> Absolutely. And you're ready to go taste some wine. So uh, I see empty glasses, which is never a good thing. No, we're just Yep. Go have fun and welcome to town. Glad Thanks. you could make it. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Enjoy. We will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The nicest thing happened on my way when I was walking to work today to come and film for TSPN. There's this handsome gentleman named Chris standing oh, out no. on the walkway in front of the Sutter Hotel. And I stopped by to say hello because he's just a sweetheart. And he said that his beautiful wife is pouring here at the Antique Gardener. And I should come and say hello, oh, Lizzie. Hello. Oh. Thank you, Chris. I thought that was so <laughs> sweet of him. I'm like, oh, what a romantic. How many years have you guys been married? Um, four. Oh, congratulations. It was a lovely wedding. Very beautiful. Thank and Chris you. is so sweet. And I go, oh, you're my first person that I'm going to interview today. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you so much. You <laughs> so who are you pouring for? I'm pouring for Nine Gables. Okay. I'm pouring a Zin in two blends. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a Blood Gold Zin. A uh, Petite Syrah, Syrah blend, and a Barbera Primitiva blend. Okay, why don't I try whatever um, you think I should well, try I'll here? Give you my favorite. Okay. This is Primera and Barbera, Primitiva and Barbera. Thank you. There you go. And so talk to me and tell me a little bit about what flavors and what we're tasting here. Um, it's going to be very jammy and fruit forward. Those two, mm. those two um, grapes tend to have more sugar in them so that's mm -hmm. why they put out sweeter sweeter on the vine mm -hmm. and then um our blood gulch is also very fruit forward and sweet and very smooth mm -hmm. so all of our if you come out and visit at nine gables all of our wines are there it's worth coming out definitely to visit and where's your location we are located at we're on shenandoah valley road mm -hmm. it's right after via toscano oh okay right mm -hmm. yep and I agree with you. The wine's beautiful. I like the fruit in it. Um, I like that sweetness at the front, too. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's a great, so great wine. Visit, so. I will. All right. Wonderful to see you. you Take too. care. Thanks. Yes, and th there's uh, there's Tommy Fox on camera, and I'm Monique Grazade with TSPN, and you are? I'm Jack Gorman, uh, the tasting room manager at Scott Harvey Wines. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been here? Uh, two years. Oh, fabulous. Wonderful. So tell me something interesting that I don't know about Scott Harvey Wines. Um, well, we just opened a new uh, facility out in the Shenandoah Valley, so now the Sutter Creek Tasting Room is one of two um, in Amador County. Now that so is news. That's great to hear. That's great news, bringing Scott uh, back home to Amador, so he's up here a lot more, and so we're really, really happy to see him up here um, on a regular basis. Fabulous, and everybody loves seeing him too. You know, he's got such a interesting and fun personality. People really get a kick out of him. He's a great, he's a great man. I'm, I'm lucky to work for him. And he's a great chef. We've had him on the show before too. He is. He is. So I'm going to taste something. Whatever you suggest. Okay, um, I suggest tasting uh, our Scott Harvey 2012 Mountain Selection Barbera. Um, absolutely fantastic. Won a couple of awards so far. Um, so this is uh, mostly Barbera. Um, with uh, a little bit of Syrah and just a touch of Zinfandel on the finish. So just a little bit of smoke from the Syrah, um, but really nice bright red and purple fruit. Um, really has been a uh, crowd pleaser so far. And you said this is 2012, right? It is. Barbera is Scott's favorite wine to make, and it definitely shines through. In the that's fabulous, and it's so smooth, too, even for a wine that's not very old. Right, mm -hmm. right. Oh, I like that. Very I'm nice. Glad. Glad. And, of course, we're known for Barbera here in our area. Easy exactly. It's an easy sell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you are? I'm Dirk. Dirk. Good to meet you. Well, thanks so much for taking a couple of minutes with us. I really appreciate it. Sure, happy to do so. Right. Thanks for coming in. You bet. Have a great night. You too. Bye. You too. I'm here with Jenny Fox Fritz and her wonderful husband, Scott. Scott and I have a little bit of history together, I just realized. <laughs> Hi, how are you this evening? Doing well, doing well. Excellent. And you're here for the Amateur Arts. You're actually assisting them. What are you doing tonight? We are the street monitors. So we're making sure that Good people evening. do not bring out the alcohol, that they finish their wine inside the shops, okay. and um, that they have a great time. Well, that's easy enough to do. Oh, yeah. And how are you enjoying it, Scott? Oh, swell. It's a, it's a very nice evening. And it's not freezing. No. Last year, it was cold. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? It was cold. And, and rain tomorrow, so we, oh, we hit it just we perfectly. We scored. It's perfect. Yeah. So, Jenny, <laughs> I've been with you on the show before, uh, the morning show, and you have um, a website, Jackpot Jen? That's right, yeah. on Etsy. On Etsy. How are things going for you? Really, really well. Thank you. I just hit a thousand sales, so I'm super stoked. Woohoo! 
wow <laughs> Happy oh dance. my gosh yes congratulations yeah. thank you very much and yeah jenny has fabulous things such as the jewelry she's wearing um the crown on her head <laughs> probably the bracelet too right oh right this is definitely vintage uh -huh. mexican from the 1950s and mm -hmm. this is a 50s hat so cute Thank you. I love all your stuff. In fact, when she comes on the show, she brings samples, and then inevitably, I've got to take a sample home. Right. I'm an excellent <laughs> shopper. <laughs> you're one of my favorite customers. Yes. We have fun <laughs> together. Well, I'm glad you're out here for the arts. That's really, really nice to volunteer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's such a great organization, and it helps the art in the schools. And this is such a great nonprofit group. So we. We love to help out. And it's a really fun event for Sutter Creek and for the people that come here to try it out. I mean, who could not have fun just kind of, you know, walking in and out of the shops, get a little munchy, a little wine, try something new. It's kind of fun and romantic for, you know, young couples to hold hands and walk around. And then for all of us that have been here for a long time, it's just great to see, you know, your old friends, the vendors mm -hmm. you know. And then there's a new couple new wineries here in downtown, which I'm excited about. So, oh, yeah. yeah, and to try to get a little, few ideas on Christmas shopping. How can you not walking for in sure. and out of the stores, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's a good excuse. It is a good excuse, <laughs> yeah. Right. Have a wonderful evening, and thanks Thank so much you. for your time. It's good to see you guys. You guys yeah, you too, bet. take yeah. care, bye. Enjoy. Hi, Leah. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Monique. Hi, Monique. Are you local or from out of town? From Lake Tahoe. Excellent. That's fabulous. You know that the arts, uh, amateur arts, are giving away a stay in Lake Tahoe as part of this benefit. Where? And so inside of the auditorium, they have the auction items. There's uh, silent auction items, yes. and people can bid on it. And so I thought, wow, Lake Tahoe, what a coincidence. Yeah. Pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Have you been to Sutter Creek before? I have been to Sutter Creek when I was... Um, we were pregnant with my 29-year-old daughter. Oh, so it's only been a little while. Absolutely. Welcome back. Thank you. Does it look the same to you? Uh, yes. Yes. Pretty Thank much. You. You know, wouldn't you agree? I mean, you know, I've only been in this area for about 10 years, and maybe the color of the buildings changes a little bit, but it's one of those places that always feels like the same, you know? Same. Kind of old-time feeling, nice people. Yeah. It's beautiful. Good, I agree. I think it's very beautiful. Now, you're, are you staying here or just trying the wines here? We are staying at the Eureka Street Inn. Okay. The small little four bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sandy's wonderful. Yes. We love Sandy. Yes, she said she was the mayor. Uh, yes, she is. Yeah, that's right. Sandy's just the neatest lady. Yeah. So. And um, so you came in to try some Helwig wine, which is being served here at the Fox's Inn. We are actually uh, members of Helwig, and we're going to see them tomorrow. Fabulous, good. So you're kind of kind of tied all into our community. I like that. Yes, of Fabulous. course. Thank you. Well, Amador, Cheers. Amador does great wine. They do great wine. Friendly people. Great red wine. Great red wine. Yes. And what's your name? Gary. Gary, pleasure. Pleasure. Well, so glad to meet you both. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for talking with me. Absolutely. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rebecca Macholik. And it's so nice to see you, Rebecca, here at the Fox's Inn. Such a fabulous inn, downtown Sutter Creek. And what are you, did you cook something to go and pair along with the wines tonight? Um, we did. We made some just classic chocolate chip cookies, which are always a big favorite, especially mm -hmm. since it's freezing cold outside. Mm -hmm. And we made some brownies. They're just a dark chocolate brownie. Very nice. So you've been busy today. Yes. <laughs> is yeah. your inn full this weekend? Yes, yes it is. We have a full house this weekend and through the week and most of next weekend too. Oh, I'd love to hear that. Excellent. Yeah. So people are traveling, they're staying here at the inn, they're out wine tasting all over. Oh, yes, yes. Good. Especially with us being owned by Helwig, so we get to offer people complimentary tasting out there. So guests can come here and enjoy an afternoon at the winery and have lunch out there and everything. So right. we send It's a really special place too. It is, it is. It's great. They have the best view out there. The sunset's unmatched. I agree. It's just uh, such a, a beautiful view and the winery is, you know, fairly new, several years old. It just has a great feel to it. It does. It does. It's beautiful. The structure out there is great and it's really nice, clean architecture. So it's just a really relaxing area. It feels like a retreat out there. It I think does. that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. it definitely does. Yeah. Well, great speaking with you. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Have a great night. It's Thank good to you. see you. you too. Of okay. course. Again. And what's your name, sweet? Uh, my name is Ruth, and I work for Hellwig Winery. Tonight we have three wines here that we're pouring. We've got our white Viognier. It's a little dry. 
kind of get banana, pear flavor. And then we've got our Roundup Red. It's a blend between three varietals, um, Syrah, Mavedra, a little bit of Zin, and then our Zinfandel. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, all of them are just $18 a bottle at Hellwig, really good price point, and they're all really good wines. Yeah, Hellwig is known, I mean, all over. I recently have been staying in Santa Cruz a lot, and there's a number of restaurants that carry Hellwig wine. Yeah. And I was thrilled about that. I thought, oh, Amateur County, we're getting known here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and we've got them at Costco and Folsom. It's oh, it's growing. Yes, that's great. Wow, success. I like that. Yes. Um, so I'd like to try the white and see what that's like. All right. And it looks beautiful in here, by the way. I love how you set up this table. Thank you. Very, very nice. How long have you been with Hellwig? Um, a little over two years, but I do more of the event side, um, and I help, obviously, tasting room when they need it. But we've, I do the concerts, weddings, and corporate, private events. So. Mm -hmm. And yes, that place is so busy. Um, wine tasting is one of the small portions of what happens there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Um, but the, the tasting room's awesome. It's open seven days a week from 1030 to 430, so highly recommend checking it out. It's got three, six, 360 degree views. It's beautiful. Absolutely. I agree. I love it out there. And this is a really nice wine and I taste the pear. I taste the banana. It's totally forward. Mm -hmm. Nice and dry. Definitely not sweet because I'm not a sweet girl, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so nice job describing it and thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. You too. Thank you. What's your name, please? John Bradley. Where are you from, John? We're from Incline Village, Lake Tahoe. Oh, well, for goodness sakes, that's a beautiful spot. Oh, it is. We love it there. And what brings you out here? Did you come specifically for the wine festival? Specifically for the wine festival. Oh, that's great. I love to hear that. Have you been before? We've been, not for the wine tasting, but we've been to all these little uh, uh, wine places before. And uh, we're, we lived in Napa for many years, and we have been converted to the wine hill, uh, to the wineries here in the uh, in this area. And Shenandoah Valley, which is this area, has so many amazing wineries, they but do. they're still small town feelings, still nice people that are happy to pour and, you know, help you experience the wine. And, and that's what I really love about Amador County is the people. Well, we do too. We, it's so friendly here. And, and one of the big things is that in, in Napa now, most, most uh, tastings uh, are 10, 12, 15, 20, right. $50 dollars here that's not the case and so we enjoy the people and we enjoy the fact that that to introduce their wines to us uh, rather than us pay to do that 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 they uh, give us the wine so it's great fabulous and are you a guest here at the Foxes Inn no we're where are we staying we're staying in a little bed and breakfast up the oh, road okay. here so you're staying at Sandy's place too yeah lovely yes mm -hmm. we are and we it, we come back here as often as we can it's such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you for not being shy and chatting with me, and it's very nice to meet you. Well, thank you for talking to me. And you have a great weekend. Will do. I'm Ralph Brown. It's my wife, Christy. Christy. Wonderful to see you both. And I've heard of the exciting news. I haven't had the privilege of trying it yet, but you have a pizza business now. We do. Um, we have started RC Pizza Wagon, which is Ralph and Christy. We have a mobile wood-fired uh, oven on a, a trailer. That's cool. We come to your location. So whether it be winery, private event, we're at the brewery, um, and we make pizzas, small artisan pizzas, and uh, thin crust, and they're really good. People are really loving them. Wow, it sounds amazing, and I know there's been a lot of great response to on Facebook if people have been talking about it. What type of pizzas do you make? Um, <laughs> all different kinds. <laughs> So something like maybe um, like a pepperoni pizza, or are you a little yeah. more creative? We're a little more creative. We do have, uh, they're, they're more of the artisan style. So we have a margarita pizza. We have about seven different pizzas. Um, do you have a signature pizza? Not really so much, yeah. Well, well maybe our, Clinton. yeah, we do have a Clinton. So all of our pizzas are named after local Amateur County, uh, Amateur County Mice. Okay. So, um, and we have a Clinton that was named, it was kind of created for a private party. And it's a pesto with chicken, uh, bacon, mozzarella, and uh, yes. sun-dried sun tomatoes. Sounds fabulous. Yes, wow. Well, well, best of luck to you guys. I'm excited for you, and I'm more excited to try it out. When uh, are you doing a pizza wagon at a public venue next? So next we'll be at uh, Amateur Brewing, the uh, day before Thanksgiving. So that's the 25th. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then... Black Friday at Bella Grace Wine Cave in the Shenandoah Valley. Excellent. Good. Best of luck to you both. Take care. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you. I'm Scott Mahan with Legendre Sellers. Fabulous. And where is the tasting room or the vineyard? Uh, our tasting room is in Amador City. But the winery is up above Fiddletown. Fabulous. And what are you tasting tonight? Uh, we do Rhone blends. So I'm tasting a, a Roussan blend, a Mouvedre blend, and a Syrah blend. Fabulous. Well, I won't keep you because you have a line going out the door <laughs> just about. But thank you so much. Thank Pleasure you. to meet you. I'm here with Mark at the Music Box, and uh, it's a fabulous store. I know you had some rearranging lately. Yeah, we did. Last about a year ago, we re rearranged, I think, every single room. Oh, is that Added right? A lot to the store. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's magnificent. Good, and doing well here in Cedar Creek. Very well, doing good. Yeah. Loving the holiday season approaching, and we're ready to go. We've got uphill vineyards here today. That's what I was going to ask you. That's great. Good. People getting ready for Christmas early, I hope. Definitely. We've been doing a lot of Christmas wrapping already, so mm -hmm. come on in. Great. Yeah. Thank you. So nice to see you. Tell Lisa I said hi. I certainly will. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Aaron Beckley. This is my mom, Marion Beckley. Hi, hi. Marion. Hi. And you are? I'm uh, Miriam Simmental. I'm Mike Hamilton. All right. Mm -hmm. Great to meet you guys. Designated driver. And we have a designated driver. Gotta love that. That's so wonderful. And our designated driver's name is? Mike Hamilton. Oh, you're, you're the driver. I am the you're driver. looking at that lovely lady over there, and I thought well, maybe she was. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And you guys are locals, aren't you? No, I'm not. He's a local. Okay, because I, I recognized you guys. Uh huh. And where are you from then? Um, Sacramento, California. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Sacramento. Wonderful. Have you been out tasting some wine yet? Mm, not me. No. I'm so driving. You're not dri yeah, you're driving. You can't drink. <laughs> I'm you with are. the driver. Okay. No. I'm a designated driver, right? He is in every booth in here. <laughs> and have you? Do you have a favorite yet? Oh, they're all wonderful wines. Yeah. They're yeah, all they're wonderful. amazing. Wonderful. Are you more of a white wine drinker or a red wine drinker? Red wine drinker. Mm -hmm. Well, both. They're both good. I do both. Yeah. I like both. I think I like the white wine when it's warmer outside because I like the crispness and it's mm -hmm. cold and refrigerated and then the red wine during the winter is just awesome. There you go. Maybe white with fish and chicken and maybe some red with some steak as they always say goes well. That's yeah. how it goes. Perfect. How Good about to you? What are you doing here? Um, well, I'm here with TSPN TV. We have okay. Tommy Fox on camera, and okay. we're just hey, out Tommy. and about having fun, talking with people, you know, seeing Interviewing. who's from out of town, interviewing, yes. See who's doing what. And uh, just kind of, you know, tasting the wines and enjoying myself, too. And he's the designated driver? <laughs> he's the designated cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, have you tried any wines? No. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> There's some root beer back there. It's really good. <laughs> how about you? What was your favorite? You know, I, I mean, I really love all the wineries, and I've, I've tried a lot of the different ones. Um, Hellwig, inside of the Foxes Inn, has a really nice white wine. Scott makes a good wine. And I was trying to think, I don't remember the name of it, but it had a banana and pear flavor to it. That was really, really unique and just yeah, delicious. Okay. Yeah. yeah, go in there, give them a try. Who is it? It's Hellwig, inside of the Foxes. Oh, it has a banana pear one. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try that. I'll have to go back up there sometime. Thank yeah, you for recommending good. that. My pleasure. Great to see you guys. Thanks so much for talking Thank with you. me. Have a wonderful night. I'm Susie from Story Winery. Mm -hmm. And you are here pouring inside of, what's the name of this beautiful establishment? Uh, this is the Closed Mine Bridal Boutique. Bridal Boutique for Closed Mine. Okay. And it cracks me up. I was just, we were just talking about it, that we have red wine with all these beautiful, expensive white dresses. And so far, so good, huh? So far, so good. You know what? I've actually poured wine out of here for a few years now, mm -hmm. and there's never been any accidents. Mm -hmm. I think the worst thing we've ever had is a grape on the floor. Oh, that's not too bad. No, <laughs> not at all. What are you pouring today? Um, tonight, we have our Carneros Chardonnay, which we outsource the grapes from Sonoma Carneros. Mm -hmm. We have our Estate Rosé, mm -hmm. our Primitivo, and one of our Zinfandels. Oh, that's fabulous. Try the Chardonnay. I don't think I've had your Chardonnay in a couple years. Oh, the Ch Chardonnay is actually amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we get the grapes from Sonoma Carneros. Mm -hmm. We bring them back to the winery. We do a barrel fermentation, and it's just amazing. It's a neutral, a new oak. Mm -hmm. So it's like a nice fruit-forward Chardonnay with a little oak on the finish. Nice. And, and it's, uh, 2014, so it's still fairly young, too. It is. We actually just bottled this in August. Oh. So it's a fairly new release. We just sold out of the 13, which took us by storm. Mm -hmm. And how are things at the winery? I love the view up there, and of course, all the people there are so nice. How are things going? Uh, everything's going really great right now. Um, the view is recuperating from the sand fire last uh, July. Oh, could you see it pretty well from your location? You know what? It took about uh, 200 yards from the nearest vineyard. So oh, for goodness sakes. We, I didn't know it was so close to you guys. We, we definitely got a curbside view. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
But uh, the bees coming back. It looks really great. Um, there was no damage to any of the vines, so everything's doing really well. And uh, we're just really excited to bring in the next new year. We're thinking about remodeling the tasting room, kind of giving it a refreshed, updated look. Uh, we have a Syrah being bottled in February. Ooh, so, cool. Yeah, we're excited to release that. So a lot of new things coming out. Oh, I'm excited for you guys. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much for talking with me tonight. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. I love visiting. Take care. Oh, thank you. John Bree from Sierra Ridge. Mm -hmm. And I'm Jan Geringer from Sierra Ridge Wine and Culinary. Oh, fabulous. Now you're saying culinary. What's going on with the culinary section of it? Well, we have added um, a lot of gourmet foods to uh, the store. We've uh, included teas, coffees, um, pastas from Italy, um, porcini paste, all kinds of uh, lovely things. So. Uh, spice wax, uh, spices, mm -hmm. and different... Um, um, Uten I, utensils or cookware. thing cookware. Cookware. cookware cookware so gourmet foods along with amazing wine i like that perfect combination indeed yes. now how long have you guys been in this location here this location we've been here for a little over two years oh, wow. good good well it's the first time i've been in i'm not sure why yeah thank you <laughs> yeah i think i would have been here before that <laughs> well you know i see you guys at different you know events and festivals and what have right. you um so what do you pour tonight well, we're pouring pretty much our, all, all of our selection of wines. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some brand new release wines of Ronich, which we are the only ones in, in the country that produce this wine. It's a, uh, comes from the Baltic area, old Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. uh, Macedonia, and Serbia in particular. Mm -hmm. And so you imported the grapes here, the vines here? We, yeah, how, we how did brought it in some uh, sticks and started grafting about 10 years ago. and. Okay slowly have been increasing the the size of the vineyard and oh, that's exciting good good are you pouring it i'd love to try it because i have not yeah, tried it pouring it okay good and you have your glass ready to go i do i have my, so my glass ready it. to go it's uh pronounced Bronich. Bronich. Um, it's similar to well as some people would say it's similar to a zinfandel like a kissing cousin of zinfandel what I find with it is that the finish is a lot smoother, a lot softer. It doesn't have the spiciness that a Zin can have. It's a very full-bodied wine. This one I did release it today. Oh, very special day then. Indeed. So it may take another month or so to kind of soften up, but I'm getting a good response today, so that's kind of encouraging. And uh, its predecessor, or this is a 2012, the 2010 Bronich got a double gold medal in a New York competition. So, Amazing. So, Great uh, job. It's, uh, it's a wine that I'm going to try to really push quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Well, the tasting room looks amazing, and you have a line almost out the door, which I love to see. I, I mean, I just love it when people are engaged in this type of yeah. events. So. Yeah, and the diversifying of all the products and everything was really Jan's idea mm -hmm. to do it. And it, I think it's a good idea. Um, here in Sutter Creek. I think it's something that Sutter Creek needs. So Absolutely. And, you know, it just brings interest whether you're here to taste wine or you're just accompanying someone who's tasting. There's something to look at, something to buy. Right. And uh, and I like the idea. It has a really nice homey feel in here, too. Yeah, we've got a little bit of everything, something for everybody. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Enjoy the Continued wine. Continued success. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping. You bet. Hi, I'm Jamie from Prospect Cellars. And so Prospect Cellars is your family winery, is that right? Yeah, it's my husband and I's, and we've been open on Main Street in Plymouth for seven months. Oh, fabulous. How's it going there? Good. It's exciting. Plymouth's kind of got a little revitalization happening now, and we're pretty excited to be a part of it. Is there a hotel that opened, or is it going to open there? Rest. So Rest is opening down the street from us in uh, end of December or first of the year, somewhere in that time frame. It's construction, so we're all hoping it's by the end of the year. That would be great for the whole town. That would be really awesome. Yeah, and it's owned by um, Mark and Tracy Berkner of Taste mm -hmm. and of the Union Inn, and they do everything so nicely that we're all, we have a High expectations. I'm sure it'll be fabulous. I'm sure yeah. Too. Yeah. So what kind of wines are you pouring from your vineyard? So we, this is our inaugural vintage. We have five wines in this particular vintage. We have a Sangiovese, a Barbera, a red wine blend, a Viognier, and of course a Zinfandel. Because you have to have a Zinfandel or they won't let you in the club. Yeah, Amador County must have Zin. You must, or they'll <laughs> kick you out. That's great. And what's your, what's your favorite right now? What are you drinking that's you know really awesome you want to talk about? So my favorite du jour? Mm -hmm. Um, because it changes. Yeah. I was really in love with the Viognier all summer because it was hot and right. it was easy to drink. Um, 
right now the San Giovese has kind of been my favorite lately, but the Gold Digger or the Blend has been everyone's favorite tonight here. So oh, great. And blends are fun like that. Blends can surprise you because the winemaker has the opportunity to kind of pull from different barrels and their favorite things and blends. Maybe something that's better. The sum of all parts is better. Right. So and they, they get to use creativity, so it really speaks a lot about them and their style. I think. Exactly. So yeah. So the Gold Digger has been really popular tonight. It's at a lower price point too, so um, it's a pretty good seller in the tasting room. That's great. Good. Wonderful. And it's great to hear that children are doing great at school. Everybody's doing good. Everyone's happy. Everyone's very happy. Yeah, and the youngest one is still at home, so I still have someone at home to spoil. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, poor kid. He's getting way too much of his mom's attention at this Aww, point. Aw, yeah. that's awfully sweet, though. Tell everyone to come over and see us in Plymouth. Okay. The brewery's right up the corner from us. You know, we got lots of stuff happening in Plymouth now, so. Yeah, Check good, good. Out. Good to see you. I'm excited to talk to you about your wine, too. This is a really special thing for you guys. Nice to see you. Thank yeah, you, guys. You I'm Take Donna care. from Unique Boutique for You in Sutter Creek. And it's great to meet you, Donna. You're um, a newer owner here. I am. I've owned the store since June. Congratulations. It's a fabulous spot and amazing taste. Thank you. We're are having you, a lot of fun. Are you using a lot of the same vendors um, that Marie used to use? We are. Mm -hmm. She did an amazing job and has a fabulous following. And mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. certainly want to keep all those wonderful customers that she's taken such good care of all these years. Right. And you're local, aren't you, Donna? I live in Folsom, mm -hmm. but we're working on getting a place here so we can share half of our week here and half in Folsom where our family is. Oh, that's fabulous. Wow, such a pleasure to meet you and such an exciting thing. I mean, Sutter Creek is so beautiful and a great place for a nice boutique like this. Yeah, we love Sutter Creek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Have you had a lot of fun buying, doing the buying for the store and getting ready for Christmas? I love doing the buying. Mm -hmm. um, we've had another store for 28 years in Folsom, so... Oh, but really? this is just a little newer, different experience. Keep growing and learning. And do you still have the store in Folsom as well? We do. What's the name of that? It's called Ambiance. It's at the Palladio. Oh, that's where I recognize you from. I've been in there. I'm sure I've talked to you. Yeah. Do you carry um, fine dresses like for events and that type of thing? What type of merchandise do you carry there? You know, we carry a lot of Brighton mm -hmm. and okay. Alex and Ani and La Vie Jewelry, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of clothing. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Brighton fan, so it must have been that. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure. Well, the store looks beautiful. Are you ready for Christmas? We're ready. Can't wait. Good, good. And um, so any future plans? What You're bringing special something in for the holidays. What are you thinking? You know, most everything has already arrived. Okay. We we ordered early mm -hmm. and we've got it set up and a few more finishing touches. Every day something new comes in. So we're ready for Christmas shopping then. We are ready. Oh, fabulous. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one of my favorite boutiques yeah. and uh, Marie was, you know, dear friend and I've shopped with her yeah. for years. I used to own the Foxes Inn, which is down the street. Oh my and she was in the little white house that's now uh, Bella Grace, and yeah. so long history there. Yeah. But um, fabulous taste, and the store looks remarkable. Oh, thank you so much. Of course. Well, lots of success to you, and I will be in to see you before the holidays. Okay, thank, right. you. thank you. So what's your name, please? Kevil. And where are you from? Uh, Sutter Creek. So you're a local lady yeah. here, yeah. just out doing some shopping tonight? Yes, I am. I really enjoy it when the shops are open late, you know. And it is nice. Yeah. So do you come for ladies' night then? Um, I haven't been to ladies' night lately, but sometimes I do. Oh, right? good, mm -hmm. yeah. And we're here specifically because it's Wine Fest. Yeah. And, you know, to cover and talk to people and see what they're yes. up to. And I think it's great that there's such a wonderful turnout. Excellent. Uh, my understanding is they were sold out. So. Oh, well, yes. Mm -hmm. You had to get your tickets ahead of time. Right, right. But we also came because my friend Marion's uh, daughter-in-law, Nancy Peckinpah, uh -huh. uh, is um, having a book signing tonight at Village Realty. I was wondering why it was so busy in there and I thought, oh, I'm not even going to attempt to go in there with the camera because it was just packed. So obviously there's a great turnout for that. Yes, and the, I've already started reading the book because it was a gift to me earlier mm -hmm. and it's just lovely. What's the name of it? It's uh, The End of the Road is the name of the book. Nancy Peck Peckinpah is the author. Thank you so much for that info. That's exciting. She's local also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. So, and yeah. So we come into town, we locals all the time and enjoy the different 
bars mm -hmm. and restaurants and shops. So. Yeah, and the shops are open late, which is just yeah. so nice. And you're with a group of ladies. Uh, yes. Yeah. And did you check out the news store, the Emporium, uh, right across from the church? No, I haven't been there yet. I'll have to go check it out. Yes, you should. Okay. It's beautiful and very unusual. Uh -huh. The architecture inside is lovely. Oh, nice. And uh, they have lovely taste. Well, I'm excited to go there. Thank you yes, for the tip. Enjoy. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Of course. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. You too. Well, I'm Cynthia Butler. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, I own it now and I own mm -hmm. consignment shop. Fabulous store. If you haven't been there, you have to go inside. Please come in. <laughs> and it's just fabulous. There's such a great variety of different types of clothes, all in beautiful condition. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you. you've started to carry some newer things as well. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I have some new things also, and I'll be expanding that after the first of the year, too. Fabulous. So you're here not selling clothes, but enjoying wine. Wine fest. Yeah, I love it. Isn't that fun, then? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And you came with your girlfriends? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very nice. Have you tried a specific wine that stands out in your head? This one here is really good. It's uh, some Syrah from, I don't know the the, the vineyard. vineyard, but it's good. I'll yeah. have to go back there and try it then. Mm. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad you're out and about shopping because you're normally in the store. Thank it's time you. for you to relax and have some fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great to see you. Thank Good you so much. Good to see you, darling. Well, we've experienced another wonderful year of Wine Fest in downtown Sutter Creek, and this is to benefit Amador Arts. It's just a fabulous event, such nice people, locals as well as out-of-towners. It's a pleasure for me to go out and interview people and talk to the vintners and just enjoy it myself. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching TSPN TV and Out and About. Have a wonderful day.